Daily life is changing in Malaysia, with coronavirus cases soaring in Southeast Asia. The government is introducing drastic measures, closing its borders almost entirely. No locals can get out and no foreigners can get in. For those who have just returned, they need to do a health check and a self-quarantine for 14 days. There will be restrictions on the entry of tourists and foreign visitors. Businesses, schools and universities will be shut. Only essential services like supermarkets will operate. The late-night announcement from Malaysia's leader sparked panic buying in neighbouring Singapore. Authorities say there's no danger of food supplies running out, as the border between the two countries would remain open for transporting goods. In Indonesia, where cases are also steadily rising, the president urged people to change their behaviour. With this current situation, it's time for us to work from home, to study from home and to pray from home. It's a suggestion, not an order. The president says the time isn't right for a national lockdown yet. Indonesia has tested around 1,000 people for the virus in a population of more than 270 million. The World Health Organization has urged authorities here to scale up their testing to get a better understanding of just how widespread the virus is. In Hong Kong, new travel restrictions will start later this week. All foreign arrivals, except those from Taiwan, will undergo quarantine for 14 days or medical surveillance. We are doing this to make sure the achievements we've made from our efforts over the past two months don't go to waste. In Hubei, where the outbreak began, authorities say the peak of the epidemic is over. Some 40,000 medical workers deployed to the province are now leaving. Now we are returning home and I'm excited that we were victorious against the epidemic. We are all happy. While China edges closer to the end of this crisis, its doctors are offering advice to countries yet to see the worst of the outbreak. Test early and test aggressively. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.